This video is sponsored by Noragon, the commercial vehicle data experts. Visit noragon.com to learn more. Welcome back to On the Road. We met up with Scheffler while we were at ACT Expo. Known for precision bearings and powertrain components, the company also brought electric axles, generators, hydrogen fuel cells, and much more to display this year. Scheffler is even working on a new type of battery technology that it hopes will revolutionize the EV industry, not just for performance, but safety as well. Before we get there, let's talk with Thomas Heck, Scheffler's head of SBU battery assembly and key account management, about the company's message, energizing transportation together. Energizing transportation together, what does this mean? Together, first and foremost, it means together with our customers, working with our customers on solutions, developing customized solutions uh, that can fit into their applications. But together also means together within the Scheffler Group, the whole power of the Scheffler Group behind it, allowing us to offer a real broad product spectrum of what we, what we have to offer. Thomas walked us through what Scheffler calls its dynamic performance vehicle a full systems display that shows the company's understanding of both electric and combustion-based drivetrains. This includes variable valve trains, generators, and full electric drive units. Right. So we have still a combustion engine uh, mm -hmm. driving a generator. That generator is charging the battery, and the battery is driving the, the EX. So one of the examples that we see here is this, uh, this generator module that we will start production this year uh, out of our facility in, in Worcester, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So then, as I already explained, that range extender or that generator charges the battery. Sorry, the battery then drives um, the electric drive unit, the, the E-axle, so to speak. And then, of course, the power electronics that uh, convert the energy from the battery to drive the drive mode. Um, we're also working on another version that has a two-speed application okay. or two-speed two um, cap capability. Um, for you know heav heavier loads, so to speak. But is there any specs you can share on the, the power we're getting? So um, in terms of power, I would have to go uh, refer back to the experts. But the the weight classes go up to it's let's say scratching the surface on class six. I would say. Oh, okay. So we're starting with um, you know uh, van applications and mm -hmm. pickup truck applications, but it, it uh, the higher classes, especially the two speed uh, version, will go up to uh, the class six rating. Electric power steering was another key exhibit, highlighted for its importance in enabling autonomous trucking. Scheffler designed these systems specifically for heavy-duty applications, emphasizing durability and reliability. Uh, we also have some heavy-duty steering systems on display here. Um, in today's industry, um, hydraulically assisted power steering obviously is, is, is well known. What we're doing here is electric power steering. So purely electric, no hydraulics in there. Um, the system you see on the first spot here has a dual motor, basically uh, for redundancies. Mm -hmm. Recognizing that combustion still has a significant future in the industry, Scheffler also presented advanced ICE components, like adjustable valve train systems, optimized bearing placements, and high performance sensors. We can't just focus on electrification. We still have a lot of years, a lot of life left in inter internal combustion engines. So that's why we're saying it's important for us to um, be present, to be relevant in multiple different drivetrain options. Now these systems, you say internal combustion engines, is this being designed around a specific fuel type, gas, diesel, it's CNG? All, all of the above. All of it. All okay. of the above, right? So it can be used for diesel, um, hydrogen combustion, mm -hmm. um, CNG, but you're exactly right. It, 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 it's applicable to everything. Fuel cell stacks and components were on prominent display. Scheffler showcased bipolar plates, specialized sensors, and hydrogen storage control units. Additionally, its modular electric motors were presented as scalable solutions adaptable to different power requirements. Do you have these specs on the, the range of power from the smallest to the largest that's so, being covered? So, in, in terms, so this one in the middle here is around a 210 kilowatt system. In terms of the, of the torque ranges, I think we're talking about 270, maybe just below 500 and around 800 newton meters of torque. Okay. Yep. Sticking to its roots, Scheffler wanted to show the advantage of precision-engineered bearings. Heck tells me that when you put it all together, reducing friction in an E-axle can help save quite a bit on fuel costs. Here you see an example how we would integrate all of our different components and subsystems into a Class 8 axle, right? And in many cases, the OEMs are building their own axles, so we're not necessarily saying we would supply the whole axle, but we can very well work with the OEM and helping helping them integrate our components into this. The specific example that we've built up there is a 
a class 8 axle, obviously you see the mechanical structure, mm -hmm. you see a two motor arrangement, so two electric motors, a three speed uh, drivetrain, and here what we're showing is a, is a wheel bearing arrangement um, that allows us to minimize friction in there, to uh, you know, cut the losses maybe by about 70% that's happening in a typical axle. Um, I think somebody did uh, a calculation and on a diesel truck, this would save about 60 gallons of diesel per year per axle. Finally, Scheffler showcased its future-looking all-solid-state battery technology. Heck explained that while this advancement could bring benefits, there are also unique pressure management systems that need to be developed alongside them. You're working on solid-state batteries, but those have to have pressure. Why does that matter? It's because solid-state cells um, they expand and contract during charging and discharging cycles, I think up to plus minus 20%. It's important to have a system in there, to have a device in there that can maintain that pressure within that cell and let it breathe. Is that a uh, kilowatt hour length of time benefit or is this power output benefit? It, so it is two, twofold. It's uh, um, power density and uh, the main thing is safety as well, right? There's okay. no liquid electrolyte in there. So, you know, you reduce that risk of uh, thermal runaway or fire events. About when we think we might see this in the future. That's, again, the million dollar question there. While the batteries may be all solid state, Thomas made it clear nothing is set in stone for a timeline. However, he's hopeful we could see it rolling into the first heavy duty applications by the end of the decade. Thanks to Scheffler for taking the time to show us around, and thanks to you for watching On the Road. Subscribe to Fleet Equipment to make sure you don't miss an episode.